What's up, guys? My name's Ariana. And I'm Maple. And today we are watching Breaking Bad Season 3, Episode 2. Hello! Yes! And hopefully we'll get some more info on the crazy killer twins. Oh, yeah, these twins, dude. They were just, like, running amok. Running amok. Oh, Walter. Mm, mm. I wonder if I, he got his windshield fixed. I guess he did. Yeah, I love driving through the desert. I don't know if I have. Really? Like, the actual desert. I'm not a big fan of road trips. I get bored. Really? I love driving by myself. Mm -mm. Yeah, me and Autumn. Autumn hasn't been on the channel in a while, but me and my dog, we zip around. Zippy around. I just, like, personally... Would rather do anything else besides be in a car for hours at a time. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I must have died in a car crash in a previous life or something. I hate it. What? Come on, homie. What are you doing? Also, why did he whip a Yui so hard, too? Yeah, right? Maybe he didn't get his windshield fixed. Yeah, I can't tell. I guess they haven't filmed, like, through. Mm. Sorry, can you turn the music down? Oh, my God. I've done that before because I was scared. I forgot that the music oh. was, like, still playing. I was like, yeah. You know I pulled you over this morning? Pretty sure I wasn't speeding. I've been using the cruise control, so I, I don't know, sir. Your windshield. Yep, that's what it is. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Registration, please. Fix it, ticket. Also, like, you look suspicious. Uh, this was from Wayfarer 515, and that's, that's what shattered my windshield, some piece of wreckage from the plane. I understand. Then what are you doing? Citing you, sir. Because you still had to get it fixed. What? <laughs> you don't believe me? Sir, regardless of how that windshield was damaged, this yeah. car is unsafe to drive in this condition. Yeah. Honestly, Walter, unfortunately, you... Dude, do not do this right now. Oh, my gosh. Sir, I ask you to stay in the vehicle. No, no, no. I can get out of my own car. Sir, listen. No, no, what no, you no. You listen to me. It's time for you to listen to me. This is so a... What you need to do is take a deep now, breath. This is Calm America, down, okay? Get back in that I car have right rights. now. Sir, Calm now down. you're giving me a ticket... I told you that my house was in the debris field. You got about two seconds to stand down. Oh, oh, oh you about to get. You understand that? She's just perfect. Oh. Oh. Yep. Oh. Ew. Ew. They don't. They don't teach you how to take pepper spray to the face, I guess, in chemistry class. So. <laughs> hey, he's getting his street cred up. You know what, Walt? You're taking your job seriously. Proud of you. I'm proud of you. Lastly, a little something from down El Paso way. What the heck is that? Came across That's a truck. Sides. That homies let on fire. That's the truck? Mm -hmm. run out of Juarez and Laredo. Why did the Border Patrol kick this to us? They didn't. I pulled it. You ask me, this is high-end cartel work. Well, mm. Why do we have Juarez-style action on our side of the DMZ? It was just about stopping one particular border hopper. Maybe one of those extra crispies knew something he shouldn't. Yeah. I literally was like, that's a crispy little leg. All right, that's oh, it. No. Slow news day. Rest you gotta get your uh, brother-in-law out of the clink. Hey, what's up, Paul? What? Yeah, and Jesse decided that he's evil, and he's gonna be evil, and that's just what he is. But he did say that he will not be doing drugs anymore, so... It's not the house, huh? Doing a little work, yeah. So, you're selling the place. In this market, can you believe it? I think uh, get it to work. These guys are trying to finish up. You're looking healthy. I tell your mother she'll be happy. You know, I come by sometime for dinner or something. Yeah. Sometime. Maybe That's I'll rough. Remember Officer Tavanaugh? <coughs> Who maced you? Very sorry that I lost my temper. There's no excuse for my behavior. It was disrespectful. Well, they got Hanks here to save the day. Yet again, Walt. For Walt real. Walt owes Hanks so much. Like, if that man ever needs a kidney, probably not going to take Walt, though, because he had cancer. But, you know. She doesn't want me to see the kids. She said that? If, when you give this information to people and they don't have the whole story, it's going to seem like Skylar has gone like really gone off the deep end but she doesn't want you to see the kids because you manufacture meth which means you probably run with a dark crowd yeah you don't write you don't call you don't write you don't call and my name's Saul. 
<laughs> she's not going to the cops. She's not going to tell a living soul. If she blabs, it'll be a disaster for her. The feds will come and Rico her and the kids out on the street. Oof, good luck arguing with them on that. Going to the police is not the point. So I've lost my family, everything that I care about. <sighs> there are other fish in the sea. <laughs> I'm sorry. You've been out of circulation <laughs> for a while. You'll be just amazed at what's out there. Oh, am, okay. Thailand. Check oh, mail order brides. Okay. Those women are so grateful to even be here. <laughs> Saul is wild. He is. Idle hands are the devil's playthings. He know who he is. He knows. Course, do what you do best. Oh, you're trying to get him back First to cooking. Step, talk to our friend and get cooking. Oh, yeah, because he said no to three mil. Damn. I can't be the bad guy. Mm -hmm. You Walt. like being the bad guy, Walt. Walt, you already are the bad guy. Yeah, like, he needs a no-ho Hank to come in. You're the worst guy I ever been. Do I not tell you that enough? <laughs> Lawyered up. I think vanity points are so funny. I saw a lady driving a, a Jeep and she had a Yorkie mom sticker, like her little Yorkie dog. And then the, <laughs> the license plate said princess. <laughs> oh, I was just like, man. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's me. We may have a wife problem. You got an address? Oh, sh oh Lord. <laughs> Oh no. Hey, dinner's gonna be late. Um, if you're hungry, I could rustle something up. Everybody else is eating burgers. Marie's got sushi. Sushi. <laughs> <laughs> and she's still wearing purple. Like she. <laughs> what? I've had enough trans fat for one lifetime. Hey, well, since that minute, I've been swimming, right, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> Hank is like I just yeah, don't understand. He's an enigma. Like, what is that? Uh, he's like a figment of my imagination. Like, he my, just my like name. Walter Jr. <laughs> like, like what? You can't you can't even say his name. You must um, be Flynn a long time ago. Though. You've changed your mind about being called Flynn. All you need to do is just tell me that you don't want to. You be know called what? Flynn. Dad didn't even show up till fourth period, and his eyes were all red, like he's been crying or something. But you, oh, he no got babe, funny child. Okay. Yeah. He just got and pepper now, sprayed. He, he won't even drive me home. But I know it's because you told him not to. I mean, I... What? Why, why you gotta be such a... Ooh. A bitch. Hey, 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 no, Ooh. no, no, no. Hank. Ooh, yeah. Hank. 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 I know it's none of my business. Oh, trust me, Hank. You would understand. You're right, Hank. It's none of your business. Ooh. Marie, oh just eat your sushi. Okay. That you are still my kid. It's nothing to be curious about. Please. Right. The day I heard the word second cell phone, I know. Believe me. I've seen it a hundred times. Okay. Please, please enlighten me. An affair. Look, a guy like Walt, nice guy, decent, smart. Let's face it, underachiever, dead end life. Okay. Ooh. He's running out, midlife crisis. He acts out. Steps out, do the math, Marie. And it comes out one way. Felt so guilty, probably told her himself. If he cheated on her, then she would have told me by now. It just feels like something more. He ain't wrong, Marie. Call it a woman's intuition. Dude, those purple people, they'll figure it out. Yes, 24 7 <laughs> coverage. Need you ask? Turn of the prodigal. Welcome back to the land of the living. How you feeling? I'm good. You know what's giving me heartburn lately? Your former partner. Finally, the big money shows up, and what does he do? He walks out. You wouldn't talk to him, would you? Oh, is he gonna buy the house? Head out of his ass. I mean, I think that yeah, I think that that would make sense because he drove by it and he, mm -hmm. he got out and he was like, "Oh, okay. Like, can I see? Like, what'd you guys do? Like, he was the asking a question." The job. He's very all business, matter of fact, right now. Like Jesse is. It's like he said, he got that self acceptance. Yeah. Ah, uh, Walt loves a good in-ground pool. He just wants a pool to take care of. He just wants to clean it. Once you become a pool person, you're a pool person. Ew. 
You don't love a good wet soggy band aid, dude. Why is there always a band aid in a place where like there is a pool near, or like it's a moist area? Yeah, always, uh, always. It's like my gosh. Oh, that's quite depressing. Oh, they going to get Tio? Is, is this where he's at? It must be. Yeah, because I mean, they were they. I feel like that this is who was coming yeah. to pick them up. Oh, he's pissed. Can he actually not talk? Or I think he might have had a stroke. A Ouija board. Maybe so can point to home? letters. Also, yeah, no odd game choice. That's what I'm saying. Like it's like I, you would think they would have gotten um Scrabble out. Ooh. Ooh, whole name. <laughs> Thought I'd uh well, visit if you don't mind. No, of course not. You don't uh you don't need a room, do you? No. Oh, gee girl. Oh, it's okay. Oh, God. It's okay. It's okay. She's. That baby got gremlin face out of nowhere. <laughs> it's not a cute looking oh, baby. <laughs> that baby looks like a gnome. A little bit. Mm. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't. I mean, this nine times out of ten, don't find babies cute until like seven months. I, I can't sign off on these questions. Newborns are just not just the prettiest thing I've ever seen. Right. Yeah, remember she wasn't going to come back to work for him because she caught him? If you're going to do this, it can't be so clear. Ooh, you're gonna help him embezzle. Nice. Larry, again. God, I'm sorry. I don't know how you feel about this. How about if I just push uh, 28,800? Um... I can't sign it as it currently exists. I'll take care of it then. Thank you for the heads up. What if your kids find out? She's asking for real advice right now. Put me on the spot, why don't you? I'd say that. Uh... I'd have for you to clear that, but that whatever I did, I did thinking of them, you know? Trying to provide. I'd ask him, try to take the time to understand. I haven't thought that far ahead, Skyler. I'm, I'm just trying to keep my head above water, so. Seems like what he was saying, too, is he has yeah. a lot of people that he's just trying to keep staffed as well. Hi, well, Alyssa, I'm, I can't talk. I'm at work right now. Lewis dropped him off. He was here when I got home. No, 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 of course. No, he's not staying. He understands that. I'll, I'll bring him anywhere you want. Right. Okay, good. So we'll meet you at the house. Okay. Mm. She's just trying to keep, keep me from seeing you. This is just how it has to be for now. Okay? Uncle Hank, Aunt Marie, everybody knows that you haven't done anything wrong. Well, that's because I don't know the whole story. It's on your side. That's also not quite the truth either, my guy. Well. <clears throat> Hello. Good afternoon. Nice to meet you, Saul Goodman. Nice to meet you. You're not that lawyer on late night television, are you? Better call Saul. <laughs> <laughs> We're here to discuss the sale of the property at 9809 Margo. I get it? Flat fee clients, am I right? Well, <laughs> folks, <laughs> lucky day. <clears throat> I represent a client who shall remain nameless. Uh, However, for our purposes, you might just as well uh, visualize a large bag of money. Mm. This individual wants to buy your house today for cash. Cash? Cash! I know, in this economy. In fact, I could wire you your money this very afternoon. Mm. It's just one little hair in the soup uh, price. We feel 875 is very fair. But I suppose there's always a little uh, wiggle room. Wiggle us on down to 400, and you got yourselves a deal. What is that, a joke? No, that's my offer. We put almost that much into the renovations alone. Why don't that's we crazy. Just cut the clown act, and you tell us what you're willing to come up to? 400,000. That's my final offer. Well, this is a waste of time. Did you possibly you imagine that we would entertain this? Come on, hon. I don't know. I just thought some allowance was in order once I heard about the meth lab, the one that used to be in the basement. I looked over your signed disclosure statements, and I don't see any mention of a meth lab. No, no. Oh, you got your termite inspection. That's good, but no <laughs> meth lab. It's kind of black. Ooh. Call that fraud in service of concealing a felony. 
<sighs> I myself, I'm more open-minded. I could file a suit and encumber this property indefinitely, or I could start some criminal proceedings. But I don't think any of us want that. Now, how about a counselor? Do you concur? <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, new windshield. Do you have to leave the stupid little blue tape on it? I've got a new windshield and there's never been any dumb blue tape on my windshield. I, you're noticing details that are not... My eyes are not absorbing today. A pizza. A big old pizza. Cool. I haven't had pizza in so long. God, you go to Domino's, you're basically financing a vehicle. Dude, it's so pricey. A pizza. <laughs> well, I mean, Did he say that like a caveman? Uh, mm, put it in the fridge. Pizza. It's even better the next day. Skyler. Yeah, he's not letting you in. I mean, she's, she's not, not letting, letting you in. in. <laughs> Jeez, I can't talk. Sat here. Can't we at least just sit down and eat a piece of pizza together? Just hash things. Have out. a pizza party. We have discussed everything we need to discuss. Got tipping sticks. Well, that just solves that. Uh oh, she does not want your pizza. Oh. <laughs> Is that an actual pizza? I look like an actual pizza. <laughs> Did they use a real pizza for that? Ah. Uh. They always create these like weird, surreal, like. Yeah. Ew. Oh. Oh my. Oh, that got dark fast. Also, homie, what? Yeah, how, I'm sorry, but how did that happen? Where you're at right now with the popcorn in the floor? He just wanted a snack and then it fell and then, I don't know. The eyeball that haunts him. When I went out this morning to get the newspaper, I saw a pizza <laughs> on our roof. Did you know anything about that? Listen to me, Walt. Do you kill yourself? <laughs> Calm down. Accept the situation. If you can't manage that, I will get a restraining order. Oh. Oh, I see. The, There's an maybe he knocked himself bag. out. There's a big bag of popcorn on the floor. Skyler. Skyler. It's a restraining order right here. Restrain this. Are you grabbing your crotch like that? Because that's his manhood, and his manhood feels challenged. Yeah, but I don't ever be like, get your restraining order. You know what I mean? Well, like, I don't maybe, run around maybe your courage grabbing my chee Maybe your courage doesn't live in your boobs, and his lives in his testes. <laughs> Jake, he had his heart set on going to space. Could you imagine? Oh. I know. God, this is all we need. Uh <laughs> Mom? Y'all don't even Dad? know. Is it gone? Jesse, the house has been sold. The new owners are expected at any moment. Where do you think you're going? Oh, this Sorry. is a big F you. Bought the place. Oh, that hasn't mm -hmm. been so good. Mm-hmm. You wouldn't let him in to see it. You didn't want to have a relationship with him. Also, you should have known they had something to do with it if homie knows there's a meth lab. Like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I also didn't know that. Like, What are you about to do? Are you about to go strong arm a woman with an infant, though? Or are you going to go dig up some dirt on her? So, like, she's not a problem. Obviously the latter. What is this guy's name? I don't know, man. He just fixes things. He is a fixer. Pizza's Ooh. still chilling. Oh, look, the cheese has slipped. Yeah, it's like sliding off. Now I kind of want pizza. But I like don't want pizza. Your magic Carol. He just. Peach Oh, is he just like moving back in? Is he in on this plan? There's no way. Or is he just deciding that he's moving back in? That's what I'm saying. I mean, it is technically still his house, and I don't know if they've signed the papers. He doesn't know that that guy's there? I don't think so, because Saul Holy called him. Shit. He didn't call him. He didn't... He didn't weasel through the freaking 
Oh, oh, you are gonna crawl through the hair dog. Okay, okay, Scooby Doo. <laughs> Mission Ew. Impossible. Ugh, dude, this man is determined. It's like a little raccoon. Yeah. Ew. Disgusting, dusty. I crawl spaces crawl creep space. me out. Just clean it. Like, do none of you like that's like that's like an annual cleaning task. Like, you should be cleaning that seasonally. Ew! All I can think is like a spider infest infestation. I can't even think about it. Oh yeah, that man said I'm moving back in. Oh sh! Is that the cartel? Oh, 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 oh no way! Oh no! Bad timing, my guy. Oh, he's got the nicest axe I've ever seen. That is so clean. He just picked that up from Home Depot. And he's wearing, Depot. like, a metallic suit. Yeah. He just looks like a vibe. Like, oh, it's just... Oh, no. Somehow, it's giving The Shining, like, the two girls, but mm -hmm. instead, they're wielding the axe. Yes, yes, yes. Dude, those boots are wild. <laughs> this is about to be crazy. Oh, God. It's me. There's something you should know about. Hold on. Is that, are those his people? No, this is this person. But is that who he was just calling? That's uh -uh. what I'm saying. Are those twins with him? I don't him? think so. I think they're rival and they're about to take out his manufacturer. So he's about to get someone over there to go save it because if they take out his manufacturer, you know what I mean? He needs, he, remember how we were like, how are we going to get Walt back cooking if he lost everything because of it? Because he's about to owe homie one. Oh my God, but how are they going to get over there fast enough? Like, I have no idea. Maybe there's someone oh, watching. Or, someone yeah, watching or house. if they're part of the competing, like, cartel. Uh, he's cartel, taking people. Yeah. Then, then, uh, they, yeah, then they can mm -hmm. take them out. And then that's how he gets some cooking again. You're in debt. They're going to wait for him to get out of the shower. That's how they're going to get to him in time. This is wild. They mean business, dude. dude like, they are they're so they are stoic. They and, are like... scary. Oh, wait. Dude, well, maybe he is working I'm with saying, him. Oh, my God. Like... Pol Polios. Yep. Maybe he is. Maybe he is. Maybe dude. he is. Dude. Okay, yeah, because you're right. It was one or the other. But when I saw that kid be like, okay, hang on. Like, let me go. Let me go. And then I saw him. I was thinking, I was like, dude, like, that's totally like, they must be like actually all working together. That's instead. crazy. We like put all the pieces gone. Just like, and he'll never know you. Dude, he just. He, he does not know that like straight up. They moved it though. He knows someone's been in there because the eyeball's in a different place. That just gave me chills. I'm that like just gave me shocked. chills. That just I'm like gave me so chills. shocked. Oh, uh, because that's so creepy. They literally were about to freaking hack him. You to were death. about to get murked. Oh my god! And then like, and then a homie saved your life, even though he didn't do the last deal with him. Because I think because now he's gonna owe him one. Well, I mean, maybe not. Maybe not. Who knows? Because maybe they are working for him, but that doesn't... But here's the thing. That piece almost doesn't fit because... Or... Or are they just in business together? Well, that's where I'm confused. Maybe... Because is the cartel different? The cartel has to be different from this guy. Or they're his... Or that's his... Like, or that's his current manufacturer. Yeah, because, like, who are those guys? Well, they're clearly Tuco they're clearly Tuco's cousins with the cartel. Pushing, yeah, but he was pushing, and they were going to take him. But I guess down I didn't there. realize Tuco was also then would have then been working with. Well, remember when they were going to take him and take him to Mexico right. to cook? So that's also the piece where I'm confused too, because why would they be working with this homie to take him to then take Walt to Mexico? Why wouldn't he just have always taken him? So are the, yeah, so then maybe they're also manufacturers. That's the only thing I can think of. But why would two like if Tugo works with that guy who own, or is the manager or whatever? That's where it's not fitting of, for me. Because why would unless he unless they are the manufacturer for Homie? 
Does that make sense? Because then why would, yeah, because then why would Tuco also want another manufacturer under him? Because the stuff's better, maybe? He was really intrigued by, you know. He was just crazy. The quality. He was just crazy. But that's know. but that's that piece that's confusing though. It's like okay, obvi- but obviously they know each other. Yeah, they he they knew exactly what that meant. They sent that text. He rolled out. They rolled out. Who's working for who, man? Who's working for? Well, I would assume if they answered that text with how serious they are. See, I was almost thinking. I was like, is that guy about to go in? in there from the car but he stays hidden he's the yeah, no, fixer he's the fixer he's does not he putting even, himself on does blast he even for no do one that? you know what i mean like does yeah. he even go in for people like that like nah. he's just he's just like a little sneaky guy. but again the guy wants what he's cooking he was gonna give him three you know what i mean so like if he loses walter he's losing out on profit before he yeah i mean especially before he figures out how he cooks it then yeah yeah so it's like one of those things so but here though it's like what kind of because now we're back, because because at least before, if he was sending someone in to save Walter, then he can owe him there. Versus now, yeah, it's now like, he like actually owes him. Hmm. But 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 I mean, it, Walter doesn't even know they were there. I know. Well, he knows. So he knows he's definitely trying to keep there. him safe. Yeah, yeah, he knows someone might have been there, but might he didn't know there. how. You know what I mean? So you can't yeah. exactly blackmail somebody to do your bidding if they don't even know they were in danger. Damn, I wonder what that's going to be like. Also, yeah, this is going to be Skylar's about to freak out. I feel like everybody's about to freak oh out in the God. next episode. Skylar, like, also, here's my thing. You're choosing not to go to the police about your drug deal, your drug making husband or Hank or DEA. I understand, yeah. like, why she doesn't want to run her kids, but also, like, you're not doing illegal things or getting advice from him. Like, I, she, he didn't think that far ahead. That's what happened. Well, he didn't think of what it would look like once he finally got caught with his family right and but it's things like you're doing things that while you might only end up in a federal prison well actually da is involved so walt will probably only end up in a federal prison too the more i'm thinking about this but um because it's rico's a racketeering charge which is federal charge so i mean yeah because at that point it, so, the taxes and all that the irs exactly would get involved, like, so long story short you're doing something and giving your advice to your employer to do something that could end him in federal jail. Walt was doing something that could end up in federal jail. Why is that one? That one's less because you feel like it's a victimless crime. You don't support it, but saying. you're not walking away think... from it. So it's like, is like, is again, we've, we've kind of thrown this around earlier. We've got how many seasons left? Like does Skylar become like, you know, yeah, that was kind of die. your first thing. Like does she become ride or die? And then all because... of a sudden, like does she then become this like, force that kind of like moves walter like and just creates like a space where she's like you better keep me out of it yeah like but like 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 the like a drug pen wife you know like she'll basically be like fine like i will indulge in what is she what comes my way from this but like i'm not going to be carried in goodfellas is she going to be flushing the drugs on the toilet I've never watched Goodfellas, but maybe yes, you maybe have. Sh- Wait, oh yeah, I have. <laughs> Duh, with the f- helicopters. We just talked about. We literally it. just talked about this. I was thinking of there's another there's another movie Scarface. I've never seen I it either. I haven't seen Scarface. Yeah, but I, um, yeah, they, with the helicopter, they're like when being she's like, like and she's like freaking out. She's like crying, and he's like, yeah. "What did you do with it? That's all the money we had." She's you like, "I'm flushing it? down the toilet." What, what else was I supposed to do? But yeah, but yeah. that's what I mean. Like, is that what she doing? Is she gonna be a mob bo- mob wife? She coming in guns blazing. Like, I, I just, I don't understand how it's like you keep this separate for this long without telling Hank, without getting the cops involved. Yeah. Like, where is it going now? It's so crazy. It can only go. Also, more they intense. like literally like put him on the altar of their religious figure. Also, their, like, deity. They, this is my thing is how important to, like, is that him. man to them that they're in there waiting with an axe for the revenge and everything else and one text that says meet me there means something like so police, where yeah. you know what i mean so like where like that's the craziest part like we're really about to see where homie is in this drug game because he he's got pool oh yeah because what the hell that's why i'm like they the are manager ball- of the they burn they burn all freaking i know do we get people more? because one person realized who they were i want more lore on the guy i don't even know his name the guy that's doing the deals i just manager is all i can think of yeah i want more lore on the manager man like yeah dude like, i would watch a whole show Kingpin. dedicated to him yeah have Hope. they done that did they make oh, yeah. a whole show dedicated no because i think the um it's better call saul I think that's oh, the only lawyer spin-off. guy. Yeah, 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 I remember Chad said that. Yeah, yeah. Which Chad is right about Saul. Like he comes in and he's kind of just like 
he's like the one character that's just like who they are, you know? Yeah. Like start, I feel like he'll be that like start to finish. Like yeah. He, Saul like is he, Saul. Saul is Saul. He's a little sleazy and he, <laughs> he's ain't sleazy, no shame in his game. Yeah. But he's like at least like a character. Like he's like, he feels like he he's like. in it. Yeah. 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 He's so proud to be he's a committed to his scammer. <laughs> crazy i know i don't know i will be intrigued to see the next episode oh and jesse getting in the house also that was a great piece of like you don't respect me you're not giving me a chance i was your kid and now i went and i bet your house and i yeah. just screwed like you, you out see- i screwed you out of 400k thousand dollars and you didn't even you didn't want to give me the time of day. You didn't want to work on rekindling this information. This now he's got like a fully renovated house. The fact that they put four hundred thousand dollars what they put in into renovations it. into it. Four hundred thousand dollars in renovations. What the heck? What also, the, what are you doing for what that? The, what are you doing for those freaking renovations? Yeah, like you don't know how also, to do a DIY. Let's, let's talk about all. this. Because think about it. This is two thousand eight. Let's price check that for inflation right now. Oh, oh well. That's not as bad, but also that's because that's just. I mean, that's almost two hundred thousand dollars. Put in, put in more how though. much? And Half a million dollars would be now. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But even, yeah, even to do five hundred thousand dollars in renovations, in renovations, that's stupid. Like, like new that's, tile. That's like too what much. tile were you buying? I don't know. I feel like that's just a that's lot. a lot of money. Like I okay, like depending on how many bathrooms, which we only saw, there's probably two bathrooms, at least. It's not like they moved the. He said they moved the garage. You moved a whole like building, a whole portion of the exterior building, like yeah. out. I think it was a standalone garage because remember it was separate. That's where the um, the RV was parked. So it's like a separate. They like moved it. Why yeah. did you decide to move a whole garage? Right? I like, I just know. feel like, I feel like that was just a bad move, period, point blank. Whatever. But they got scammed. <laughs> Jesse did it right. They got scammed. Jesse got his payback on them. He got, he got, he has his house. And sucks that you didn't want to be nice to your kid because your kid went and... He said he, really he, said he accepted you. that he he's the villain. the villain. And if everybody in his life is going to treat him like that... Then. I get it. Oh, well. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for watching with us, and we will catch you on the next one. See ya.